Aloha, my friends, and welcome to another episode with Maui Craft Kitchen. I want to see, with a show of hands, how many of us drink coffee. If you're like me and your hand is raised right now, or it should be raised right now, but you're a rebel that refuses to conform with the rest of us, then you should be roasting your own coffee. Not only is it the freshest cup of coffee you're ever going to get, but it is also much better for you with things like higher antioxidant levels. So hold on to your coffee beans, because we're going to work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. Big mahalo to Rob the camera guy for keeping our shutter a flutter. Now, before we get to roasting, we need to talk about a few things. We are roasting today in a popcorn popper. I have seen many different methods of roasting coffee at home, and this, by far, seems to be the most efficient and effortless. We only need to make one modification. Normally, these poppers come with a plastic top. We got rid of that and swapped it for a glass lighting sconce that you can grab at most hardware stores. You want to do this because the original plastic one is too thin and it'll melt in the longer heating process. Next, these are green coffee beans. I purchased mine online. They come in slightly different shapes and sizes, but mostly they look similar to this. I have found that for my machine, 125 grams of green coffee beans is just right for one batch. This may be different for your machine. You just want the beans to spin freely and never come to a complete stop without crowding the machine too much. To roast, we'll simply put the beans in the popper, place the sconce on top, and turn the machine on. I prefer to roast outside as it smokes a bit and the skins of the beans, also called chaff, will fly into the air. So it is just easier to be outside. As the beans spin and begin to heat, they are going to go through two stages that are referred to as first crack and second crack. You can actually hear them popping so the names are fitting. First crack has a loud pop sound and is quite clear. Second crack has more of a puffed rice cereal kind of snap, a bit more faint. Second crack is where all the natural oils in the beans come out and some of the darker notes as well. Generally speaking, you want to at least roast to the beginning of second crack. I roast mine just to the beginning of second crack. This whole process takes less than 10 minutes or so. Once they're roasted to where you want them, take the sconce off the top, being careful and maybe wearing gloves as it will be very hot, and pour your roasted beans onto a cookie sheet. Let cool and store in a jar with a loose fitting lid. Coffee releases CO2 and you want that to be able to escape. Now grind it, brew it, and enjoy it. Wow! Who would have thought that roasting your own coffee would have been so easy? Now there are a ton of variables that you can use to your advantage while you're searching for the perfect cup. How dark you roast your beans, what kind of beans you're using and where they were grown, the combinations of different beans that you're going to use, and even how much coffee to water you're using when you brew your coffee are all things that you can easily change. So have fun with it and get the most out of your cup. Thank you for watching and for your support. Many mahalos and much aloha.